vlog. Today is Wednesday. It is my day off. It is a really beautiful day. Very sunny, very warm. And I'm going to go see Iroh. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do today. I think I might just play around with him in the round pen because it's nice outside. I'm actually going to my local tax shop right now and I'm going to get him a new halter because I hate his halter. I hate the halter that I have for him with a burning passion. It's just like built so poorly that every time I take it off, it like comes apart. It's just like, I need a halter that's just a quick slip on, slip off. So I had to get this color. This is the only one in his size, but it's like a kind of nice green color. The breakaway, which doesn't even really matter because he does not wear this all the time or anything like that, only when I need to take him out. And then I also got some new training treats and I really like it compared to the other ones that they sell. So we're gonna try training with that today. He's only a little bit muddy. Just kidding. He's very, very muddy. But last time I was here, I cut a couple inches off his tail. So you can see it's not trailing on the floor anymore. So that'll be good for mud management. He's clearly rolled a couple times. Yeah, bud? Oh, you're so cute. He really likes the new treats that I got, so that's good. Could use a good brushing. He got bit a couple times, like on the same spot in both places. I think that also might be why his blanket got ripped. He's got some hair coming off here. Might have gotten bit here too. He's kind of low on the totem pole. Actually, he's very low. Yep, so his tail is looking a lot better. It's so much more manageable when it's that length. So I'm gonna give him a really good groom and then I'm gonna throw him in the round pen and start playing around with him. I forgot my tripod, so I'm not sure how much I can actually film. This new halter looks pretty good. I don't really like the color. I was kind of hoping for a more neutral color, but the problem with my other halter that I had for him is that bottom ring piece kept sliding off and I had to keep like fixing it every time I wanted to use it, but this time it can't slide off, which is normally how it's supposed to be but the halter I got, I don't know. It's just how it is. But yeah, it looks pretty good on him. All nice and clean, except for the legs. Tried my best. Are you a fluffy teddy bear? Are you a fluffy? That's it, no treat. Give me a treat. It says, please take me out. I've been standing here forever, getting cleaned. I want to go roll. morning vlog. Today is Saturday. My day off and tomorrow as well. Today I am going to the antique mall which is like one of my most favorite places ever with my two sisters to see if we can find Christmas gifts for people because that's where I'm going to be getting everyone's Christmas presents. And then Sedona is staring at me from inside the house. And then I oh yeah I need to film a video so that will also get done today finally because I can film during the day where there's light. I really need to get some groceries even though I went grocery shopping the other day as you guys saw. Whenever I order online I always forget like the crucial things that I need like toilet paper and paper towels and butter like stupid stuff like that So I really need to go get those things because I want to start a new loaf of bread. I want to make more cookies Sadly wanna... the antique mall was a bit of a fail. I didn't find anything for like anyone But I did find some really cute stuff now. I am not gonna show what I started getting for Amanda because she watches my videos and that would be not good. I did find a adorable skunk beanie baby this is like one of the original beanie babies 
It even has like the thing in a plastic. Freaking cute. Like, look at this thing. I wish they had ferrets. I'm gonna Google to see if Beanie Baby actually has a ferret one. But anything skunk, anything raccoon, I really like. And I was like, hmm, I think I'm gonna name it Stinky. Well, I open up the tag and the name on the tag, because, you know, Beanie Babies have like their own names on the tags, is stinky already because like they have a ton of stuff, but it would take so long to go through every single piece. And it kind of seemed like it was difficult to find cheaper items. I have a lot of my artwork around the house from the antique mall under $15 which is what I like for art in the house. I don't like anything too, too expensive, but I couldn't find anything like that this time. I don't know if because it's getting closer to Christmas, they are starting to mark things up. I do not know. And now I'm going to go ahead and film my video, get that out of the way, and probably play Minecraft for the rest of the day. I do need to clean, it kind of smells a little weird in here. And then tomorrow I'm going to church with my friend and Lily, my sister. I made really, really good chocolate chip cookies from scratch the other day. I want to make them again because we literally ate all of them within two days, so. I've been getting back into skincare and makeup lately. It's been a while because I developed a severe form of eczema, multiple forms actually, and I haven't had a flare up since adding animal products to my diet, but I've also changed my skincare and makeup. I just applied a hydrating lotion. This is absolutely key. I've tried dozens of lotions out there and my eczema prone skin does well with Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Fragrance Free or a raw shea butter. For eyeshadow, I've just been using a shimmery face powder. I'm not quite sure what this product is meant for. I've had it forever, but it adds just a nice touch. I don't really do primers. I don't contour. I don't bake my face. Everything is clean, simple, and just enhances what is already there. My eyeliner is also simple. I used to do winged liner all the time, like every day, but I've recently swapped to a shorter wing, if that makes sense. It only wings up very slightly at the end of my eye. And I love eyebrow mascara. Sometimes I skip the step, but my eyebrows are very, very light. Sometimes I do a bit of blush, but it's very subtle and higher up on my cheekbones just for a little color. And then I finish it off with a Tony Molly gloss. Really love this brand. And that is pretty much it. cookies were so good highly recommend making them i will leave the recipe below and they were so easy like i'm a notoriously bad baker but i feel like i could probably stop saying that now because i have a lot more practice and i'm not failing at my recipes anymore but it was just super super easy anyone could do that recipe taste was really really good like i hate cherries i really don't like cherries or cherry flavored things but i really really like these cookies so very happy with how they turned out lily just went home and now it's just me and the dog oh my god 
He's wrapped up so tiny, you can barely even tell that there is a dog behind me. I'm exhausted. I was out of the house from nine something to like three o'clock, uh, just running around doing errands, going grocery shopping. For dinner, I'm actually making stuffed peppers and believe it or not, even though I was a vegetarian for all of my life pretty much, I never once made stuffed peppers. You can thank Patsu for making all of the annoying background noise. He's playing with my box. I actually, the box for our shoe rack. Finally I have a shoe rack in there, you can't really see it, but thank you Aldi for having a shoe rack. Also, this tree, you may or may not remember, I had in my parents' house in my bedroom when I had Patsu and Hal, that's when I got it. And it's just been kind of sitting in the basement of my parents' house. And it's just so cute. The stand is kind of incomplete. But I don't know, I just really like it. I love the lights on it. Just adds some cute Christmas touch in the office. Because right now I don't have anything Christmassy in there. I do have to prep the ferret food, but it, that takes me like five to ten minutes as long as the meat is thawed because they're eating grinds. Not too worried about that taking me too long. But I'm gonna get started on dinner. Good morning. I look like crap. Could not be bothered to get out of my PJs today. It is a very wet, rainy, cold day. Not that cold. But we are off to pick up a free dog gate that was posted in my parents' neighborhood group. So I'm going to go snatch that up. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna go snatch that up for free, hoping that I can somehow use it for the kitchen when we're cooking and baking to keep Gen out of the kitchen. But it's just, dog gates are just a nice thing to collect. You can use them as barricades for stairs and other things. So I figured I could use it somehow. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna take Gen for a nice hike. We have not hiked with him in a very long time. Our, our just schedules have not made it so that we can all go together. Oh. This is our new doggy gate. It fits our kitchen perfectly, even though again, could probably jump over it if you wanted to. Yeah, it looks like it'll work for now. It's just annoying we have to step over it. Ha ha ha, again. We figured you out, again. What the? Bad ferret. Ken is very, very unhappy with the new gate. I'm about to bake. And he's like, this is just, this is the worst thing ever. He has no idea that he can easily, easily scale this. <gasps> is that how you feel? Very, very upset about this. But it has been so convenient. Okay, so I am about to show you how to make one of my most favorite, I don't even know what you would call it, side dishes, snacks, 
dip very very easy to make as well and there are many many variations that you can do and it only requires a couple ingredients you may not have all of it in your drawers already which is the downside of making this dish but it's not something that you're probably making all that often baked brie and this is going to be an apple baked brie i have made raspberry you can do all different types of berries i just really really like apple i think it's not too tart it's not too strong of a flavor i've made raspberry in the past and it is just a little bit too tart for my liking so usually with the raspberry you're going to need raspberries and raspberry jam but today i'm doing apples and apple butter this is the first time i'm doing apple butter the last time i did apple baked brie i used like an apple cider jam type thing that i found at aldi but today we're actually going to be doing an apple butter so the ingredients that you're going to need you are going to need phyllo you can also use just any type of pastry that you can flatten out really thin the thicker it is the more you're going to need to bake it for but with this thin phyllo pastry it cooks really fast but i have made it with non phyllo dough in the past some butter you don't need that much it should be soft just to you'll see kind of paint the pastry you don't really need it for anything other than that and then of course your brie doesn't really matter the kind that you get this is the kind that i do get and it does have that edible wax on top but i will show you what i do with it and you're gonna need well you don't really need this i didn't use this the first time a brush to kind of paint the butter on you don't really necessarily need that though and just an apple you really only need one for this recipe because the brie is kind of small and then some sort of jam whatever you really like but today i'm doing apple butter and then there are such thing as brie bakers that are meant specifically for the purpose of baking brie but I couldn't find them anywhere unless I wanted to order online, which I didn't. So I just got this adorable pumpkin themed dish that is absolutely perfect for fitting the brie inside. And you don't really even necessarily need a dish like this one, but it comes out the best when you do use something like this. The only downside, for me at least, is Brian does not like melty cheese. He, he doesn't like a lot of things, now that I think about it. But, so basically, this whole thing will be for me, which is great. But anyways, let's get started. Phyllo pastry dough is very, very thin and fragile, so you wanna be careful when you're holding it. But here I'm just gonna take it out, see what I'm working with here. And what I do is sort of make like a fan-like shape with the sheets of dough. And I think in total, I generally use around five to seven sheets of the phyllo. And with each sheet, I do take the melted butter and sort of glue the pieces together. And I do prefer to cut the waxy coating off the top of the cheese. You're gonna wanna keep it around the sides and the bottom. And then I cover very generously with whatever jam or spread that I'm using until I can't see the white anymore and then begin to wrap it up. Then I start chopping my apples to put around. And I also forgot to mention that I do uh, sprinkle a little cinnamon and nutmeg on top. And then after baking for about 25 to 30 minutes on 350 degrees, you are done. 